what I'm going to be doing in a minute, um, this was that glass iridescent uh, flower. Now I have taken a mould of this, but I want to recreate this. And I've found a way to do it. So I'm going to come back and show you how to do that. It's glass, it's iridescent. But you can do it to make it look the same. I'm going to come back and show you how to do that. What else? I've got an order in. I'm going to come back in a minute and do that one as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now. I did say I would come back and uh, show you this. Now, you can get this effect. Um using this which is the heavy structure gel this dries clear and I'll just show you something I've got a picture in the process um, so I know you can use this because I've used this gel to do this and then I'm going to paint over it and it dries clear so that is a way to do it and I'm going to show you now all you need to do when I get my palette knife Whatever I've done with my palette knife. <coughs> I'll use this one. Oh, this one will do. Is take the medium. Now, before you do that, another thing you can do is you can... Oops, I don't want to drop that. You can um, put your mica powders in. So let's do a mica powder one. So that the iridescent is already on it. Okay. Now, I'm going to use... Finally. Listen for mum. What have you done? Oh, well, it, you're bound to get hurt if you mess about. Have you brushed your teeth, you two boys? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Silly sobs messing about. Take some mica powder and just pop that in there. Like that. And that's already them type of colours, all mixed in. So what I was just saying then, because I'm, I'm on this blooming camera that's 7.33 minutes and it's doing my head in. <laughs> Put your mica powder into the base of your um, mould. Then using this, which is the heavy structure gel, fill it in and push it down into all the nooks and crannies and then just layer it and layer it and layer it till you can smooth it off and then leave that and you may have to leave it like I say for two or three days but I will come back and show you each day what how it's going on uh, if I remember that is um, and once that dry clear you will get that and it'll already have that iridescent on it but fabulous you could do it with any mold and have a fantastic mold beautiful coloured mold like that I am also going to be showing you though um, to put more of the mica powder on when it's finished and then to seal it so um, fabulous can't wait and um, brilliant stuff great that it dries clear but you can paint over this as well so that's that I will be back shortly and I'll speak to you soon bye bye for now <laughs>